The question of non-bird dinosaur extinction is really an open one. I mean, certainly that there's a tremendous amount of evidence. In fact, that there's no doubt that at the time that dinosaurs went extinct, a large meteorite or asteroid hit the planet somewhere off the, the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. However, directly tying this event to the disappearance of the terrestrial fauna is very difficult. And that's just because our sample is so small. There's only a couple of places in the world where that both dinosaur fossils as well as evidence of the impact are preserved. Both of those are in Western North America. So we don't know that whether it was an instantaneous event. Uh, we don't know whether the, the dinosaurs in the Southern Hemisphere like held on for millions of years afterwards. We just don't have the record to be able to determine that. One thing we do know though is that certainly that the dinosaurs, non-bird dinosaurs, appear to be coming more and more rare, less common as you approach the time when the meteorite hit about 65.4 million years ago. So that it's not like everything was going great and then you just had this massive cataclysmic event and everything disappeared. Uh, we know that you know, stuff was changing, stuff was changing quickly. At the same time, there was a huge amount of volcanic activity, especially from uh, places in western India. And interestingly enough, this coincides with around the time of the asteroid impact. So many paleontologists feel that it was a combination of factors, maybe both asteroids and volcanoes, that did the non-bird dinosaurs in. And I should emphasize not just the non-avian or non-bird dinosaurs, but many, many other animals and plants. In fact, we estimate that maybe as much as 75% of all the species that lived on the Earth at that time went extinct during this very dramatic event.